And there's reversal systems on this stuff too. Okay, sure. See, now I'm kind of torn because I want to. When I review the game, I'm like, which version should I review? You might have to get the B version. This one, yeah, this one is, uh, I think, across the board, uh, we got some really good games. And I think, again, like, if you want to think about the DS for us, you know, like, if the DS is I think they're going to be able to pull it away. Yeah. Oh, okay, and you can use that to deflect? Yeah, you can deflect it. Wow. You can use it to deflect it. If you find it at the right moment, it will reflect back exactly to where it came from. Okay, so the so time it. Yeah, yeah, so it's okay to take it as one, but if you're more skilled, you shake it, and it'll go back and back to the way it's not down. Um, but you can also, if you want to throw the hammer, you hold down slow, which is the top one. Okay. And now, uh, throw like you're throwing a hammer. Wow, okay. Yeah, see, this game's going. <laughs> I like that. You gotta do one of those cool god powers. How do I do that? You gotta get like a 50 uh, hit chain so, or something. You got to down the knee pad. And then you can do a hurricane to the left, you move it to the left, or go down and lightning. So you just charge up your hammer so it's a stronger hammer. But okay. you can do, like, do a downward strike when you're holding the pad. That's lightning. Okay. And then when you get the 50 hits and you do those moves, they're really accentuated and super mega powerful. Yeah, so that's the one that you gotta do. Okay. But again, whenever they're on fire, you gotta put out their fire, otherwise you're not gonna do the damage them. Oh, so how do I put them out with the, um... So yeah, Z button, like when you're spinning in front of you, like okay. you're walking. That's the hammer gun. That one. Now flip the left one. Left one. Oh, okay. The left one is the win. Okay. Or you can flick left and flip the left. through what you're thinking as you're playing this game? Personally, um, this is a surprisingly deep game in terms of how you have to take out enemies and stuff. Like, he was telling me earlier, a lot of there are, um, times when the enemies are invulnerable to my attacks because they're protected by, like, that flame. I have to literally use a god power to deactivate that flame so that I can damage them. Um, that's another thing. The god power superior is, like, almost over the top, like, crazy. Like, it's insane. Look at this. Like, pure carnage. And also there's even more like, you know, you got a whole upgrade tree, so there's three pages of upgrades, and there's also to uh, there are, um, basically these uh, token things that you can drop in slots, and you find it throughout the levels, and you can adjust them uh, based on Keep how you combo going. So, oh. for example, like, if you're more of a defensive, oh, so do your super thing, so do yeah, do this. pat down, or you do, and do any direct, there you go, so you do your, do down again, there you go, do your super light. Oh. Okay, like your that that is bad. <laughs> oh, they're on fire, so I can't kill them. Yeah, so if you did the super turbo win one, you did the win one, it sucks everyone up in like a vortex. That's not, there you go. Yeah, it seems like to remember the moves, like it's... Well, yeah, I mean, this is like the game, so normally you go through a tutorial on the first level with your Asgard, you go through all this stuff. So, oh, okay. So it, it is reinforced, so yeah, we're kind of throwing you in the position there. Yeah. I need your, oh, there you go. Actually, I just... Yeah, like flick the hammer at him or something. Yeah, <laughs> that worked very well. <laughs> so 
what do you find most surprising about this game? Uh, the combat system, seriously, like, in all honesty. And the way the moves look. Like, the overall graphics might not be that impressive, but, I mean, it's a Wii game. So, I mean, they're kind of limited in hardware. But they're doing the most with the Wii can handle. And, like, I also like the fact that you're fighting a store. He's a god. So they're pretty much giving you all these mystical creatures to fight. It's not like you're fighting random, like, human beings in, like, hoods or something. Because that wouldn't really make sense. <laughs> and, like... That's been a problem in a lot of superhero games. Like, they have you fighting superhero um, villains that really aren't on your level. So you see when, um, I don't know if you see where the guys are getting electrocuted with red electricity. Yeah. So that's actually a, 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 I think a token you dropped in there that if someone hits you, there's a high chance of getting electrocuted. And that's uh, something you can adjust. So you it's like a critical in. attack on Yeah, so I always do, like do like the Pokemon because you want to collect all the cards and then choose the four that you want to customize your uh, gameplay style. So they're hidden in the levels. Okay. And then you start out with one slot and then you can customize the based off your play style. So it's just uh, another way to customize how you play. So okay. you can back out of it, beat it, get back out of it. And then uh, go down to World Tree and then go to Flight to Flight. Yeah. So this one's more like a flying game. So you're going to control the floor and you're going to even shoot a button. Okay. You sort of like reds. It's sort of like reds. You can hold the button. Okay, yeah, I remember. Yeah. 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 Now, do you have full range motion when you're in movement uh, here, or? When you're flying, yeah, like, oh, yeah, like, I'm supposed to dodge that, I assume. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, you kind of control where you move sides. And like you said, you have to literally multitask. Like, I have to attack them and dodge. And you can, apparently you can deflect things back, but it requires timing. And a lot of thought when you're kind of trying to survive. Yeah. I just like how Thor looks in the Like They did a good job capturing him, reading, following behind the hammer, attention to detail, stuff like that. Like, I think they've done a really good job of finding a way to, oh, crap. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Destroy that, you're not getting it. I think they've done a really good job of making a game that I can see, like you were saying earlier, like, kids can play, but at the same point in time, oh, um, like, people, gamers like us that would like actually more of a challenge, to play because there's a lot of tactics and skills that you can use in the game to try to do this, um, so I'll fly through it and have more fun. Um, I did see a difficulty rating, so obviously you can scale the difficulty too. Yeah, they have four. Ragnarok unlocks when you play, finish the game one time. Okay, and I like that they call it Ragnarok, which is pretty much the, uh, a very important uh, moment in Norse mythology. Pretty much when all the gods in Norse mythology died, apparently, and like everything starts over. Why I know this summoner? <laughs> Oh, no you don't. Ah, there you go. Oh, yeah. So you want to destroy the hammer first. So you can either uh, wait till he swings it and then hit it, or throw your hammer at it to destroy it. I should have jumped. That would have helped. <laughs> yes. When I throw the hammer away, I'm vulnerable to the hammer comes back. Yeah, you almost got the sword down already. So. Yeah.
So yeah, right now we're just showing you the boss fight of Surtur and Thor, God of Thunder, for the week. Yep. Oh! So there was a brief quick time event. Just do a gesture to the left or up, whatever it points you to. That's pretty sweet right there. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. oh, So yeah, you'll see you're taking through different types of gameplay throughout the actual boss battle itself. So that's kind of cool. And it's a short sequence, so it's not anything that really breaks up the action or anything like that. Some nice variety. It's pretty sweet. Nice little hammer to the face. Nice stunning bolt right to the chest. That'll do it. Oh. Oh. Go to the chest one more time. Nothing like shaky cam footage. Try doing that whirlwind attack too. That's what I'm trying to do. There you go. Knock the fire out. Can you get super one now? Oh, I can? Did he get me out of it? Oh. You did the super charge hammer, so you throw the hammer at them now, and have a beam from the sky. Whoa. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's bad. Oh, wow. There's a last fight sequence. Alright. I like how the boss fights, you know, it's not just one type of gameplay. You have to actually be prepared, keep on your toes. You fight many types of enemies, you fight many types of gameplay styles. And each boss fight is different too, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Oh wow. There it is. Oh no, you failed. I failed. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's fail on my part. Here we go again. So keep throwing the God of Thunder like that, man. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we're gonna get through all that. Like that, man. All right, don't fail this time. I don't fail. Oh. <laughs> we'll see if he can get it this time. Yeah, that's two fails on, on the row. <laughs> No excuses, I need to step up. <laughs> there you go. Got it. I had to keep the red remote up. The scale of the monster door didn't be. No sweat on his forehead. And you look at all that lava and door is cool, you know, like this there. That's how you make a character look like a badass. 